Okay, let's see if I can make this video um, start quickly. So, if it's a if it's a uh, equation, you have an equal sign, you don't have to graph. Okay, so this would be if you make the story, um, make a line, make a line. Let me just make this bigger. Sorry. Bigger, 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 bigger. And here we go. So you do make a line plus 40, plus 40. This crosses out, right? So you get 8x equals negative, or sorry, plus 32. Divide by 8, 8. And 32 divided by 8 uh, is 4. To check, we copy 8x minus 40 equals negative 8. 8 times 4 minus 40 equals negative 8. 8 times 4 is 32. Minus 40 equals negative 8. And this is negative 8, which equals negative 8 on that side. So I know my answer is correct. Here, distributed property, 6m, positive and positive. 6 times negative 4 is minus 24 equals negative 28. Do my line. I do plus 24 first, plus 24. And again, some of you, if you want to make that over here, you get this m times 6 minus 24 equals negative 28. Go back, plus 24 divided by 6. So here you get cross 6m equals negative 4. Oops. <clears throat> so this is going to be a fraction. Okay, so you can skip this one. Negative 4 divided by 6, divided by 6, and m equals negative 4 over 6. I'm going to leave it like this, okay? Um, <clears throat> here, okay, make a line, right? So we're going to multiply. Remember, once the fraction, we multiply by the reciprocal, 5 and 3 times 5 over 3. This 5 into this 5, this 3 into 3 crosses out. And 20 times 5, so this becomes 20 over 1 times 5 over 3. Okay. 20 times 5 is 100 divided by 3. So we can, you know what, I'm going to leave it as a fraction. Okay. Or you can change it, but if you left it like this, it'll be fine. Here, it's k divided by negative 2, plus 4, minus 10, minus 4, times negative 2. So, first thing I do, minus 4, minus 4, this k over negative 2 equals um, 10 minus 4 is 6. Then I'm going to multiply that by negative 2, multiply times negative 2 times negative 2, this and this crosses out, k equals negative 12. And you can substitute here, this one you can check. <clears throat> so it's negative 12 minus 2 over minus 2 plus 4 equals negative 10. Negative 12 divided by 2 is 6 plus 4 equals negative 10. Uh-oh, did I do something wrong? Negative 12 plus 4 equals negative 10. Something's wrong here. Um, dot, dot, plus 4 minus 4 times negative 2 times negative 2. Oh, this is a 10. Oh, it's, this is negative 14. Sorry. Here's my mistake here. So I know. So that's why you check. And negative 14 times negative 2, right? So it's negative 28. So k is negative 28. So over here is negative 28, right? Instead of the k, we put negative 28. Negative 28, negative 2, plus 4. Negative 28 over 2 is 14. <clears throat> so I'm still doing something wrong. So oh, this is supposed to be plus 28, not negative 28, it's plus 28. 
So that gives you negative 14 plus 4 equals negative 10, and negative 10 equals negative 10. So a lot of mistakes I made here. Next one. Um, minus 4, make a line. All right. Minus 4, minus 4. I get 5y equals, this crosses, negative, wow, negative 23. And divide by 5, divide by 5, y equals negative 23 over 5. So I'm going to leave it as a fraction. Okay, I um, messed up on the numbers. 3, negative 3m minus, minus 30. So if you do the thing, you get m times negative 3 and negative 30. Right? And you're going to go and divide by negative 3. So divide by negative 3, divide by negative 3. Remember, when you divide by negative number and it's inequality, you have to switch this to that way, so that becomes an M. Negative divided by a negative is a positive, and 30 divided by 3 is 10. M equals 30. Graph. 10, 11, 9, put a little circle. And we're going to aim it that way. Um, over here, again, if you want to make your story, a divided by 3 plus 8 equals 10, which is going to be minus 8 times 3. So here's my line, minus 8, minus 8, 10 minus 8 is 2, cross 8 over 3. And then we're going to multiply by 3, multiply by 3, 3 and 3 cancel, A equals 2 times 3, which is 6. I can check this. <clears throat> so it becomes 6 over 3 plus 8 equals 10. 6 over 3 is 2 plus 8 equals 10. And 2 plus 8, 10 equals 10. I know I'm good. 4 less. 4 less than twice a number equals 10. Just be careful. This is a turnaround. La 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 huerta, less than becomes 2n minus 4 equals 10. The difference of 3 times another difference, the differencia, difference means subtraction, right? The difference of 3 times a number, 3 times a number, so the difference is subtraction, 3 times a number is 3n, and 6 is, is equal, 14, so 3n minus 6 equals 14. <coughs> Try and solve an equation for each situation. So this one you have to send box of box, bought number of books. So he bought the cost for each book was $7.99. She also paid a shipping fee for $5.99. The total spent was $53. So the total is $53.93. How many books did we buy? I don't know how many books she bought, but I know it's $7.99 per book, right? And she paid a shipping fee. 599 plus 599. Now I can solve this, right? Minus 599, minus 599. This comes down 7.99b. Subtract, so 13 minus 9 is 4. Let me borrow 4. This becomes 13, which is 12. This becomes 19, which comes 18, 13 minus 4, 13 minus 9 is 4, 18 minus 9 is 9, decimal comes down, 12 minus 5 is 7, and 47 over 4. Now what do I do? Divide by 7.99, divide by 7.99, and <coughs> B equals, and if you divide 47.94 by 7, you get 6. Taylor <coughs> paid a mechanic six dollars, X dollars for six hour job and thirty-five per part. The total was one eighty-five. So total equals one eighty-five. So mechanical, thirty-five dollars for parts. So she paid thirty-five dollars for parts plus by this. And six hour, but I don't know six hours times X for dollars, right? We don't know how much she made per hour. So 6 times x plus 35, you get minus 35 now, minus.
minus 35 over here, make a line across 6x and 0, 150, 8 times the base 5, and then divide by 6, divide by 6, x equals, I don't know what x equals to, so I'm going to use a calculator, so 150 divided by 6, divided by 6 equals 25, so the answer here is 25, so every hour in Mechanical, he made $25. Okay. Kelly bought four red shoes and two red shoes for $24. Each shoe was the same price. I need an equation to find the cost. So she bought four red shoes and two shoes for $24. So the total was $24. Each shoe was the same price. Okay, so how many shoes did she buy? She bought four. Okay, so she bought six shoes. No, I'll call it S for shoes. E, she paid twenty-five dollars, right? So six shoes equals twenty-four dollars. How much was one shoe? Divide by six. Divide by six, and one shoe equals four dollars. Combine the like terms. So this is one. Okay. So make sure there's a one here. Pretend there's a one here. Pretend there's a one. One times two m is two m. One times negative five is negative five. Minus one times nine m is nine m. Negative one times negative seven is plus seven. Now I can combine the like terms. This one plus this one. This one plus this one. Two m minus nine m is negative seven m. Minus 5 and plus 7 is plus 2. And I'm done. Same thing here. Put a 1 here. Put a 1 here. Multiply. 1 times 7 is 7g. 1 plus 1 times 3 is 3. Negative 1 times 12g is negative 12g. Negative 1 plus 15 is negative 15. Combine this one with this one. And the plus 3 is the negative 5. 7g and negative 12g is negative 5g. 3 and negative 15 is negative 12. So that's my answer. Here I'm going to multiply. So 1 fifth times 10. So 1 fifth times 10 is the same thing as 1 fifth times 10 over 1. Right? This is the multiplication. 1 times 10 is 10. 5 times 1 is 5. And 10 over 5, 5 entra in dies. How many times? 2 times. This becomes 2. Minus, oh, 2m, sorry. 2m. Minus, and then I'm going to multiply 1 fifth times 20. Put the 20 over 1. 1 times 20 is 20. 5 times 1 is 5. And 5 over 20 is 4. 2m minus 4. Same thing here. This times this. This times that. So 1 third times 9. Put the 9 over 1, 1 times 9 is 9, 3 times 1 is 3, and 9 over 3, 9 divided by 3 is 3, so this equals to 3, so this first one is 3, minus 1 third times negative 12, put it over 1, 1 times 12 is 12, and 3 times 1 is 3, 12 divided by 3 is 4, so it becomes 4, so I forgot the k here. Okay, so write and solve an inequality to represent this situation. So Kim went bowling, he rented shoes for 475 and paid five dollars per game. So I'm gonna circle this is important, this is important, this is important. What is the greatest number of games he could have played? Okay, so he rented shoes, rentó zapatos y cada juego cuesta cinco por, por juego y tenía 30. ¿Cuánto? Fue el número de juegos que puede jugar él con 30 dólares. Entonces, he has 30, right? 30 dólares. So, has to be under 30. Where's my sign? El máximo que puede gastar él es 30. The maximum he can use is 30 dólares. So, what did he rent? He rented shoes. So, the shoes, le costó 475. Plus 5 dólares per game. 5 times cheap. 
Now we can do this, right? Minus 475, minus 4.75. But this one doesn't have a decimal, so I'm going to put a decimal, 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 0 and 0. That goes like that, 5G, less or equal. Let's borrow. 3 becomes a 2, becomes a 10, becomes a 9, becomes a 10, becomes a 9, 10. 10 minus 5 is 5. 9 minus 7 is 2. 9 minus 4 is 5. And 25. Okay. So after he pays for the shoes, now he has $25.25. He's going to play games. So divide by 5. Divide by 5. And G, if you divide it, it's going to be 5. 0 0.05. So the m biggest number of games he can play, how many games can he play? Five games. So he can play five games. So we're going to do this. And then I'm just going to draw it over here. So you, you can't play 5.05 .05 games. You have to play five games. Five games, six games, four games, three games. Can he play five games? I think I should put a number on top. So I need to make a number. So can he play five games? Yes, he can. Right? Can he play six games? No, he can't. He doesn't have much. No, he doesn't have that much money. So he can play five games. Four games, three games, two games, one game, zero games. Right? But he, can he play six? No, he doesn't have more money money to play six games. He has five games or lower. So that's the answer. <clears throat> Cat needs 150 signatures. Necesita 150 firmas de estudiantes. She, she already has 55 signatures. Ya tiene 55 firmas. She, Cat, and three of her friends will get the other signatures at lunch. Cat. Y tres amigas van a coger las, las firmas de las otras personas en lunch. Write an equality. Find the minimum number of signatures each person needs, needs to get. ¿Cuál es el mínimo número de firmas que cada uno necesita para coger 150 firmas de estudiantes? So, you need to get a mínimo. El mínimo. So, she has to get 150, 150 o más. El mínimo que tiene que coger. So, minimum has the opposite. Okay? Es, that's a sign. Tiene que coger 150 o más. El mínimo que tiene. So, she ya tiene 55. And four people, what? Cat and three of her friends, cuatro personas. And her friends. It's going to get signatures. Right? So, minus 55. Minus 55. Four. F. Greater than 150 minus 55 is 95. Divide by 4, divide by 4. So 95 divided by 4, 2, 8, 15, 3, 12, 30, put a decimal, put a decimal, bring a 0, 7, 28, put another 0 down, so that's a 2, and that's a 0, so 23.75. So each friend has to get 23.75 signatures, which means that can you get 23.75 signatures? Puedes coger 23.35 firmas? No. So we're going to increase that to 24. So every friend has to get 24 signatures. Shade. Okay. Solving graph. Mike wants to play a pay. No, wants to buy a PlayStation 4 that costs five hundred dollars. Saved eighty. Guardo ya tienes ochenta dollars. Va a costar quinientos. He's going to get. He w works and gets paid twenty dollars an hour. Trabaja y gana veinte dólares por hora. Cuántas horas tienes que ganar que trabajar para coger el mínimo de quinientos para comprar, no? So again, minimum. At least is this one. He has to make five hundred dollars. Not less, but more than $500 to buy a PlayStation. So, ya tiene 80, he already has 80. Now he's going to work 20 hours, $20 per hour. 
right? ¿Cuántas horas tienes que trabajar? Ahí? So, minus 80. Minus 80. 20H is greater than 420. Divide by 20. Divide by 20. H is greater than 21 hours. So, he has to work. And mínimo that he has to work is 21 hours para ganar 500 dólares y poder comprar un PlayStation 4. He can work 22 hours, he can work 23 hours, but the minimum he has to work is 21 hours. You must be at least 13 to watch the movie. Tienes que tener al mínimo de 13 para mirar el movie. So, your age, see so that, tiene que ser más grande que 13 para poder asistirlo. You can have to be, your age tiene, have to be bigger or greater than 13. The car carries at most 2,000 pounds. El coche puede tener al máximo de 2,000 pounds, libras, okay? Que es como 4,000 kilos. So, el peso máximo del coche es 2,000 pounds. El, so, the car, go, so, anybody that goes in the car, the total weight has to be less than 2,000. Todo el peso del coche tiene que ser menos o igual a 2,000. No puede ser más que 2,000, o si no, no avanza el coche. Okay? The car carries at most. El máximo que podemos poner en el coche es 2,000. So the maximum that we can put in the car is 2,000. So, cualquier persona que entra en el coche tiene que tener un peso menor de 2,000 pounds. You must be 12 and under to eat for free. Tienes que tener 12 o menos para comer de gracia. Entonces, eat, para comer gratis, to eat for free, you must be 12 and under. So here's, tienes que tener menos de 12 o igual a 12. To get a prize, you must spend at least 50. Para ganar un premio, tienes que, tienes que gastar al mínimo de 50. So here's 50 and the price. What do you have to do to get the price? ¿Qué tienes que hacer para ganar el price? Tengo que gastar más de 50 o igual a 50. Or equal to 50. Simplify, combine like terms. This one. And don't remember this. Don't forget the sign is this one. And the other two. So 12 minus 18 plus 7n plus 11n. These two combined becomes negative 6, plus 7n and 11n, so I'm going to put a circle here, becomes plus 18n. Same thing here, 8m minus 19m minus 3 minus 23. So these two and these two. This one becomes 8m plus negative 19m. And that becomes king gonna, this one, so it's negative 11 then. Negative 3 and negative 23 is negative 3 plus negative 23. They're friends, right? So it becomes negative 26. That's my final answer. Solve and check. <clears throat> 2w, distributed properly. Minus 10 plus 2 equals 20. 2w, combine like terms. I'm going to combine these two. Minus 8 equals 20. Now I can do the story over here. w times 2 minus 8 is 20 plus 8 divided by 2. So plus 8. So I get 2w equals 28. Divided by 2, divided by 2, and w equals 14. Over here, and then we can do the check. Okay, so I'm going to leave that to you. 3 times k is 3k, minus 3 times 2 is 6, plus 2 equals 8. Combine, so 3k is minus 4 equals 8. Plus 4, plus 4, okay, you do. So you can get k times 3 minus 4 equals 8 plus 4 divided by 3. So plus 4 plus 4, so I get 3k equals 12. Divide by 3, divide by 3, k equals 4. And again, you can check right here. <coughs> okay.
Okay, so let's do our story. M times 3 minus 10, 20, plus 10 divided by 3. So plus 10, plus 10. 3m less than 30. Divide by 3, divide by 3, cross, cross. M is less than 10. Graph. 10, 11, 9 for a circle. Put it here. Well, let's check. Let's pick a number. Let's pick 9. So 3m minus 10 is less than 20. So if I make m equals 9, right, I can pick any number on this side 9, 8, 7, 6, so on. Let me pick 9. 3 times 9 minus 10 is less than 20. 3 times 9 is 27. Minus 10 is less than 20. 27 minus 10 is 17. And 17 is must beginning from 20. Check. Here. So plus 10. Plus 10. Negative 4x cross cross greater than 24. Divide by negative 4. Divide by negative 4. Be careful. Dividing by a negative coefficient. So negative and negative x but we switch the sign the other way 24 divided by 4 is 6 but positive divided by a negative is a negative so x so negative 6 negative 5 be careful with your number line careful that one right. so if we check let me let me pick negative 7 so x equals negative 7 okay so negative 4 times negative negative 4 times negative 7 minus 10 is greater than 14. Let's see if that's true. Negative 4 times negative 7 is positive 28. Negative times a negative is a positive. 4 times 7 is 28. Minus 10 greater than 14. 28 minus 10 is 18 and that's greater than 14. So that is true. Mm -hmm. Ash hosted a party. He rented a restaurant for three hundred fifty. The restaurant also charged five dollars and seventy-five cents per person that he dined. He spent a total of four hundred ninety-three. Write and solve an equation. Okay, so it has an equal sign. Okay, circle, circle, circle. So write and solve an equation. So we on a fiesta. Rentó un restaurante por 350 y también cada persona le cobraron 5.75 y gastó 493.75. So, his total is 493.75. Okay. ¿Y cómo lo usó ese dinero? Well, he paid for the restaurant, but rentar a restaurant, he rent a restaurant, 350 plus 5.75 per person, ¿no? Por cada persona que rentó. Todo eso. So, ¿cuántas personas invitó él? Well, let's find out. Minus 350. Minus 350. 350 doesn't have a decimal, so we put a decimal. Zero, zero. Cross. 5.75p. Let's subtract. 5, 7, 3, 4, 1. 143.75. Divide by 5.75. Divide by 5.75. P equals, and if you divide, uh, I think it becomes 143.75 divided by 5.75 equals, and how many people? So 25. So, ¿cuántas personas invito él? Cinco personas. Now, this question is an equality. So, circle. 375 each, a gallon of milk for 425, and an inequality. Martin 28, he wants to buy chocolate, cajas de chocolate, 375 cada uno, and he wants to buy one gallon of milk. Quiere comprar un galón de leche. How many boxes of chocolate can he buy? ¿Cuántas cajas de chocolate puede comprar? Entonces, he has 28, so the maximum que va a gastar is 28, so the maximum he's going to make is menor or igual 28. What is he going to buy? He's going to buy a gallon of milk, a leche, 
that's like this here, one gallon of milk, so that's the milk. Plus, you want to buy chocolate boxes. So he's going to buy chocolate boxes. B. And we want to know how many. Quantas cartas de chocolate? Minus 4.25. Minus, and this doesn't have a decimal, so it's put 28.00 or 4.25. Cross 3.75B. Less or equal to. Let's borrow. Becomes a 7, becomes a 10, 9, 10, 10 minus 5 is 5, 9 minus 2 is 7, 7 minus 4 is 3, and 2. Divide by 3.75, cross, cross, divide by 3.75, and chocolate is going to be how many boxes can you buy? 23.75 divided by 3.75 equals. <coughs> 6.3333333. So, how many boxes of chocolate can he buy? He can buy six boxes of chocolates. No se puede comprar 6.33 cajas. O es 6 cajas, 5 cajas, 7 cajas. O es 5 boxes, 6 boxes, 7 boxes. He's not, he can't buy 7 boxes. Okay? Pero puede comprar 6 cajas. So, the answer is 6, 7, 5. You can buy six boxes, yes. It's five, four, three, two, one, and everything on this side. So that's my answer. So how many, what's the maximum? You can buy six boxes. Okay. And then your word here, your secret word, your bonus word, it's going to be, um, I have no idea what here. Let's think of a word. Uh, it's going to be okay. Superhero man. Okay, that's it. We're done.